My name is Julie. I love being a mom. I think when you have elective surgery, you, you kind of say to yourself, all right, when is the perfect time to do this? Well, there's never a perfect time when you have children. There just really isn't. My name is Susan. We all want to look our best, and we feel best about ourselves. We have the most self-confidence when we put our best foot forward. And this is like doing that. And I think you have to look at it as doing something for yourself um, that will help you feel better about yourself. A lot of the reconstructive things we've done have, have, have given patients you know, their life back, so to speak. Uh, and you can see it in their eyes when they come in. My aha moment probably came in two forms. I definitely felt like this was something I wanted. I was going to have to go under any ways to have um, a lump removed. You know, it was, it was frightening because you could feel this very large mass. Uh, for me, I felt uh, a little nervous if something were to happen to me and, um, you know, you have your children, but uh, Dr. Newman was so great. Uh, when I saw him before I went in, he just, he was so comforting and so kind to my husband and I and, and really reassured me um, and I felt 100% confident that I was doing the right thing. There, there's so much that you don't know about the body. He just has a way of making you feel comfortable and confident and again, not like a patient, like you're part of their family. Um, and then Z is so soft-spoken too and so kind and sincere. Um, she's just a, a great, genuine person. And really their entire office staff is so warm and, and, and inviting. This is a big deal. This is not something that you just take for granted or you just do on a whim. Uh, this is a big decision for anyone and to have the time that they spend with you is, is really important. But they make an amazing, well-rounded team. Dr. Newman and Z were new in town, and I heard about them from one of my very dearest friends, who is also a patient, and uh, she checked them out, and she said, yep, this is a great place to be. From the beginning, I knew that I didn't need to look anywhere else or shop around, so to speak, that this was exactly where I needed to be, and that um, I was always treated with kindness and compassion, and um, not only by Dr. Newman but also by their staff. Every patient's different. Everyone has, you know, um, their own sets of challenges. On a given day, I can see, I can see young kids, I can see, you know, babies, I can see grandmas, I can see moms, I can see dads, I can see high school kids. There's, you know, very few medical practices can say that, that we can treat from kind of from the cradle to the grave almost. And so I like the variety of the things we do also. You know, uh, I get to operate on hands, faces, breasts, abdomen, thighs, stomachs, it's any part of the body, any person. What I like about him is that he's not, he's incredibly intelligent, but he didn't have to tell you all the time. He didn't have to tell you how great he is or anything like that. It's, it just comes off as that he's got this, he's got a quiet confidence about him but he's always thinking. So it's just, you know, when patients meet him, a lot of times they don't realize that the wheels are always turning and it may take him a little bit sometimes to warm up. I mean, or sometimes he may come in with something light, but if, especially if it's a particular issue where he knows it's very sensitive. Everyone has special concerns. And that being said, you know, when we're in the OR together, it's nice because he knows that my opinion, if he's asking for it, it's because he truly wants it. The both of us stand at the end of the table and we look at the patients, we look at them for, from a symmetry standpoint. We look at them um, aesthetically, you know, is everything in proportion together? Does this look right? I had a patient once that uh, had, had such a large uh, hernia and, and once we fixed that hernia, you know, her life really took off. She she was able to uh, you know, exercise more. She was able to wear different clothes. She her makeup was different. Her hair was different. Everything, you know, the plastic surgery is is really a springboard towards 
um, a lifestyle. We have four kids, Z and I do, and the oldest is 11, the youngest is two, and they have things after school, they have things before school, they have things on the weekends. And so, keeps us busy, but it make, also makes things really interesting. To have Z's input, it just makes a world of difference in my opinion, um, and I think that really stands above the rest of the plastic surgeons in our community, um, just because you have that female perspective and that there is a comfort level that is added with her presence. They're just always really fun to be with. Uh, it's never anything that's stressful. It's something that I actually look forward to when I have an appointment. Oh good, I get to see Dr. Z, Dr. Newman and Z this week. They want their patients to look the best they can with a very natural look. And when you're going through a process like this, you need to feel comfortable and safe, and they absolutely make you feel both of those. They have my best interest at heart, and so I trust what they recommend. I will be 60 in four weeks. Thank you, Z and Dr. Newman. <laughs>